All right, check this out. I did a video a year ago on how I 10X the results for our shopping ads for a furniture business, simply by going from a static product image to a lifestyle image. Here's the exact results I had there. Um, this was again last year, and I show, hey, click shot up because our click through rate went from a 0 0.6 to a 1.35. And for shopping ads, benchmark's about a, a 0.8, I believe. So anything above 1% on shopping ads is, is really good. Well, we went from 0.6 to 0.135, shot up our clicks, okay, because of that. And that was simply an image change, which by the way, resulted in a lot more sales for us in our furniture business. Now, I can't do that for every one of our products. So here's this exact image that blew our results up for this specific sectional sofa, okay? What most of our products look like, and it's because we have, you know, a thousand variations of these sectionals because they're modular. We have all these different styles, uh, an insane amount of colors. Uh, and so there's, there's just a million variants. This is what most of our product images look like. Now, I cannot go and recreate this exact scene for every one of our products. It'd be like impossible, right? This is a true photo of a living room with our actual product. So I can't just like, all right, team, go take that sectional sofa out. Let's put a new one in and do that, you know, 10,000 times over. It's just not possible. So we have done these lifestyle images for the products that we can. Um, we've tried Photoshopping some things. We've tried doing um, the product studio within Google. I'm not a huge fan uh, of that yet. But ChatGPT comes out with their image generator. And now... All of that is possible. So let me show you what I just did. Okay, so I'm in chat GPT and I gave it our standard product. So check this out. I mean, this is this is the standard product image, right? And this is what was running previously. And I said, hey, I want you, and you don't you can talk to this. I'm I'm no prompt engineer. This is just basically, you know, giving it some quick um uh, ideas right so i'm talking to it like a monkey <laughs> and uh so i this is not, i don't have a sophisticated prompt for you you don't need one and i just basically gave it this this image right this is our number one performing lifestyle image for that specific product so i'd love to recreate that right for other of our sectionals so all i said is Create a living room scene from the first image, similar to the image labeled, and this is the actual, I just, this is like the image file name. This is for my Google shopping ad where I want to create a lifestyle image similar to the second one. So I, that was, I mean, this could have been reworded better by probably every other human being who's talking to ChatGPT. So you don't have to talk to this very smartly, right? Here we are, boom, that is pretty dead on. Like that is my product. It used an ottoman, which um, I'll, I'm going to allow. The you can buy an ottoman, so that's fine. Um, it did so. It did kind of use this ottoman here. Um, thankfully, it did not include one there. But di it did not use. I mean, it used pretty much the living room scene, right? And it did not use uh, that product. So, because I've seen this now. I'll show you an example where you got to be careful. And it's actually, I'm a little nervous about this, but it, it and there's some differences. Like look at the, the kitchen here, um, kind of like a, you know, almost like a gray splash wall. And that does, you can't really see much of the kitchen. So it changed it a little bit. This rug down here might be a little different. It is a tad bit. It's, it's pretty good though. This is an, I'm going to use that image. This is an acceptable image to use. That was it. All I did was upload my product image. I uploaded a, a, um, a lifestyle reference image to use. And I just simply said, could you recreate this with my product now? And this is what it was able to do. So now the dilemma I was in where I would love to have all my products 
of sectional sofas have this scene because this scene did incredibly well for our Google ads performance in regards to clicks, uh, click through rate, and then conversion increases. I physically could not have done that by going in and having a photographer go shoot all of our sectional sofas inside of this house. It'd be impossible. I now can pretty much do that with ChatGBT, which is pretty insane. Now, with that said, I tested, and I'll show you another example. I tested a random mattress I found, and then I found a random bedroom mattress. I gave it, and this is probably my fault, so, so some AI nerds are probably going to be like, this is what you did wrong. Cool. I, I, I want to learn. So if you know what I did wrong, that'd be great. But this is what it created for me. I gave it a very similar prompt. That is not the exact mattress. And this is what scares me a bit is uh, there's going to be a lot of lazy advertisers who use ChatGBT or other image generators, and then it's not their product. Like I, I have some morals, okay, folks, I'm not going to use that as my product image ad. That is not the product. It's close, but that's not it. So I feel I don't like that. Um, now, I gave it some more prompts to try to fix it. It got a little better, but I'm still like, look at the top here. They're still use, using the reference images there. Um, so I'm not going to use this one. I sat here and worked with it for a little bit more. What I ended up doing is creating a new chat and I just, I didn't even give it a reference image this time. I said, just create a clean modern bedroom scene with this exact mattress in it. It did a pretty good job. Like that's fairly close. I wouldn't be opposed to using that because, you know, when you look at a shopping Im uh, image, right, it's pretty small anyways. So you're not gonna get the exact details. This one, I would feel okay using. Um, you know, obviously the depth of this is a little smaller than what is being shown here. This tag is in the wrong spot. Little small things like that. But the top's pretty good there, and the sides are too. So I, it, you know, upload this to Merchant Center um, for your product image, and that's pretty close. So uh, there you go. Like, you want to take your product images that are boring and static, right? So here's like, let's find a boring static mattress. This, that's a looks like a black box. Okay. So you can now take a boring static image. Here's one from target. This is boring. And now you can create a lifestyle image, by the way, lifestyle images, as I showed you, at least for us. And in most of our, uh, case studies of testing that they get higher performance, they get higher click through rates. So if you have a product that could be used with a lifestyle image, absolutely start testing chat GPT or another image generator out there. I'm sure others do well too, but this is very, very easy. Test using the chat GPT image generator and give it some reference images. That's what I've seen do well. And the, or at least the best images for me and give it some references images and see if you can take your static, boring, just product image and create some lifestyle images. Start testing those. I guarantee you will start seeing lift in click-through rates, clicks, and ultimately conversions. I hope you got great value from this video. Hey, if you want to upgrade your Google Ads knowledge, I have a group called PPC Copilot, and I do a weekly Q&A in there where you can ask me any question about Google Ads. And I also, I don't know anyone else who does this, I do video feedback. So if you want to send a video, a screen recording using something like Loom of your actual account with the question, I will watch that and I send you a Loom video back. That is almost a one-to-one -one consultation, which by the way, I charge like $2,000 for. That is basically a one-to-one -one consultation. You can give me all the context and it's done privately. So I do that weekly for the members of this group. Also, I've got uh, course material in here, ongoing training. So if you wanna go upgrade your Google Ads knowledge, go check out PPC Copilot. The link to this group will be in the description below of this video. Maybe you don't really want to learn more about Google Ads. Maybe you're a business owner or you work internally as a director of marketing or CMO, and you're like, hey, I just want some experts to get under the hood of our account and show us what we're doing wrong and what we can do better. Well, guess what? My agency, Grow My Ads, the channel you're on, does free account audits if you qualify. So if you want my team to get under the hood of your account and show you practical advice on how to improve it, 
We don't hold any of that back and you can do whatever you want with it. Hopefully you end up hiring us, but it's up to you. We, and we're very, very honest. The team is trained to be as upfront and honest. So if we think your account is great, even if you work with another agency, we tell you that. We're like, hey, your agency is doing an incredible job. If you hired us, we're not going to move the needle for you. So keep doing what you're doing, right? We are very honest on our audits and we make sure we're giving you practical advice. So if you don't want to be a part of PPC Copilot and you don't want to learn more and you're just like, I need some experts now to get under the hood of our account, then go get that free audit from my team. Again, the link to go get that will be in the description below. And if you don't care about any of that, that's cool too. I'll see you on the next video.